All right, guys, so I got this six-way bracket put in. Uh, I did have to straddle this bar. You could put some washers or something under here. Uh, I was able to get it with long enough screws. So we're gonna reuse that still. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to cut out for the swivel cable in the six-way. So you're gonna wanna use a real sharp, I would use a utility blade. I wouldn't use a regular pocket knife unless it's really sharp uh, because you do not wanna slip doing this. So switch the sides here. So to start this, if you pull this skirt kind of straight where you're gonna end up sitting, you're gonna wanna feel it and you can feel this bar here and here. Now for a swivel cable, you're gonna cut, you're gonna go right in the corner here. You don't wanna go past it. See, my knife's not even that sharp. I need to get a good blade on it, but. And you're gonna go all the way to the other corner and you're gonna do the same thing here, same thing here. Okay. So next you're gonna run this through and for now until you get it back in the coach you can just kind of tuck it underneath the six-way so and then kind of fold these in push this in and then you're gonna get wrinkles almost every time but you kind of pull them out and when you go to actually put the screws in you can pull them out and you can make it look nice You can see theirs was actually cracked just a little bit, but that's okay. It'll still work. You can see with my thumb here, I'm just, I'm pulling this taut. That way when I tighten it, and you can readjust it a little bit here and there, but something like that's what you're looking for. All right, so for the six way, it's gonna be similar, but with this bracket, you don't really have a nice corner to go for. So this one is gonna kind of push in a little bit more than I really like, but that's just how their bracket is, and that's okay. All right, so same thing. You're gonna pull this straight, find where you're at. This one I cut right in the middle, so I'm right here. Cut in the middle there, and then come all the way across, keeping it kind of straight as you can. You can kind of go back and forth, double check. You can always cut more if you need to. So once you get that slit in the middle, then I would come up to this corner, find that corner, find that corner, and then come down to the other corners, slit those. Okay, so you're gonna feed this through. Now if you look at the colors of these wires, and then you look at your six-way, as long as you put your six-way on the same way as it was on that other chair, there's, there's some plugs here. If you look on this, now these aren't all gonna be the same color, but on this one, if you know this, blue and green, I don't know if you can see it, mm -hmm. yeah. The blue and green are in the back. So if you look at this, you're gonna want your blue and green to be in the back. So you want it to line up with that of the six-way. So once you feed this through here, this only goes on one way. And actually, someone at some point had drawn an arrow on that, but you can make a mark on there. You can you make a little notch with your knife or however you want to do it. But if you don't, that's how you line it up. So then you're going to put this through here. And this is going to be real similar to the swivel cable. So get everything tight and then plan ahead here. Get your little screws from before. Helps if you have a magnetized bit, but. All right, so these have a little bit more play room. So you're gonna actually have to push it through, find the hole, and then you can screw it in. And I start one side just like that. And actually these are, screws are just a little bit small for this. I might grab some bigger ones, but they will work if you need them to. Now with this style of bracket, you are gonna have a little bit of, of wrinkling. The other bracket they make actually completely encloses this. It's a nicer bracket, but it just depends on what kind of chair you have, whether or not they've got it on there. So we just kind of work it back and forth. And 
and get the best you can, kind of pull out your wrinkles. But something like that is what it'll end up looking like. All right, so once that's in, normally I would do this right when I transfer it over, but you want to make sure you do end up tightening these bolts down. And if you hold your fingers on the bottom, as long as it's a locking nut. If it's not a locking nut, you just get an open-ended half-inch wrench and just put that on the bottom, and you'll be able to hold that in there. Left-handed again. Again, be careful because these studs will cut you this will cut you and i mean they're all sharp edges in here i've got plenty of scars from it okay so that's tight we've got our main 12 volt here now we want to tap in this power lumbar or footrest or whatever other options you've got heat you're gonna to wanna to tap those in. So I got a red and black wire here. You can tap them in however you want. We use Scotch locks, these little guys. These are real nice if you can find them. So wherever you wanna tap them in at, just pull some of this plastic back or tape, whatever's on there. I'm gonna just Scotch lock these in real quick. So red's gonna go to orange, black's gonna go to black. Depending on your six way, you might have a white and black wire. White's usually gonna be your hot, but if it operates backwards, then just change it. Same thing for the black. And then just kind of tuck those back into your chair. All right, and we'll clean that up once that's in the coach. So we got our six-way on, power lumber's already on. Everything's out of the way. Just kind of look at it, make sure nothing's gonna get pinched when it's operating. Um, swivel cable's tucked under here, so once we get back in the coach, we'll hook that, that back up. And uh, that's it, guys. So that's how you put a six-way on a chair. Thanks for watching.